average rate of change, the difference quotient, delta y over delta x, we just talked about that, f at a plus h minus f at a all over h. And this is called the average rate of change in y with respect to x over the interval x equals a to x equals a plus h. Okay. Likewise, the instantaneous rate of change, same idea instantaneous rate of change in y equals f at x with respect to a when x equals a is this right here, provided that the limit exists. Okay, last question. The total cost in dollars of manufacturing x calculators is given by this function right here. Okay, what is the total cost of manufacturing 100 calculators? Okay, so sometimes you're going to get easy questions like this where you just simply have to plug in the number. Okay, so what is root 100? It's just 10. 10 times 10 is 100 zero, plus 1,000. Okay, the cost to manufacture 100 calculators is $1,100. Now, what is the rate of change in the total cost with respect to the number of calculators x being produced when x equals 100? So, instead of just subbing this in, we actually have to find the rate of change when x equals 100. So I'm going to do that second way where we're going to actually sub in C at, well, we already subbed in C at 100, so that's perfect. Let's sub in C at 100 plus H. Okay, so 10, we're going to have root 100 plus H and then plus 1,000. We can't do anything else here. Okay, we can't simplify anymore. So let's just plug it straight in. Um, I'm going to start here. So those are our two points right there. So let's go the limit as h approaches 0 up 10 root 100 plus h plus 1,000 minus 1,100 all over h. Okay, let's simplify this. 1,000 minus 1,100. is negative 100 all over h. Now, as soon as we see the root, always think conjugate. Not all the time it's going to work, but most of the time we're going to have to use the conjugate. So the first term as it is, and instead of a minus, we're going to do a plus, and then the second term as it is. So 10 root 100 plus h plus 100. Okay, the limit as h approaches 0. So 10 times 10 is 100. And then 100, root 100 plus h times root 100 plus h is just 100 plus h. Okay, and then minus 100 times 100 is 10000. And then that's all over h. 10 root 100 plus h plus 100. Now. Let's come up here. Equals the limit as h approaches 0. Let's multiply that in. So we have 10000 plus 100h minus 10000. Beautiful all over. And I'm not even going to expand this because remember, most of the time this h just cancels out. Okay, let's cancel some stuff out. This cancels with this. Okay, we're left with this function. Now, when we're left with this function, the h's cancel. What are we actually left with? We're left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 100 over 10. 100 plus h plus 100. I can factor out a 10 and cancel out again, but it's a little tedious because now all we have to do is sub in this 0. 100 plus 0 plus 100. This root 100 goes to 10. We have 100 over 10 times 10 is 100. It's 100. We have 100 over 200 equals 1 half. So I get, therefore, the rate of change, rate of change is 1 half. Since it's a rate, let's actually put $1 
for each calculator. There we go. 